All right, well, we're off the coast of Lagogo, Mozambique, so a thousand kil uh, kilometers north of uh, Durban, and I'm joined with uh, Narosh and, and Marcus here. It's horrendous conditions. I don't know if the, the camera's showing it, but I'm actually feeling green as hell. Uh, anyway, Mr. Persistent over here wants to go looking out for amberjack marks or whatever, so we're going to take a stroll, stroll out and uh, one or two dips for ambers, and then we'll take the day as it comes from then. So stay tuned, and let's see what happens. All right, I'm just going to show you the base we're using. A little cigar scat. Just want to show you how to rig it. It's quite tricky with a circle hook. In the mouth, through the hard bit, and push the point through. There, just like that there. Boom. And it's him. I'm going on. Uh... Are you in gear? Yeah, I'm not. You're on gear. <laughs> I'm onto a I'm 30 pound gear. <laughs> I'm 30 pound gear. Talk about gun to a now fight. <laughs> you reckon dip? Yeah. This like doesn't even know he's hooked properly yet. Yeah, I'm gonna we were driving. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you. Our legend uh, cameraman shot to my spot in it <laughs> in the most horrendous conditions. My face is green like you have no idea. I've been seasick and I'm not seasick anymore. <laughs> There's no savers, look at him. That's a marlin, it's not a sailor. It is a marlin. Oh, it's a small. Hey! What? Oh, try not to be the much if he's gonna pop you off, he's gonna do when he jumps, eh? Okay. The last thing is you go. Whoa! Oh, 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 Basically what happens, we saw this, we saw this fish, well Tim, our cameraman saw it, and we quickly chased it, another two bloody rod gannets picked up the 50 pound outfits, there was only a 30 pound one, so I grabbed the 30 pound, and I got it, what I'm actually fighting this fish with is triple fish 33 pound, a Dawa salt is 8 foot 6 rod, and a Dawa called here 4000, this is a, this is a bonita rod this, this is a small tuna, <laughs> and I'm fighting a marlin. It's incredible fun. It's the right size. We take that time, we can get this fish. The main concern is the bull wrap on the on the leader. Make sure that leader doesn't last. But I also think with the circle, you might be hooked in the corner. And there's no, no, there's nothing, nothing on the leader. It's not a circle. It's a mustard big gun tour. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, so he's down. I pitched the live cigar scare to him. Pre-spooled him. So hook's inside. Yeah, he's tight. He's little, eh? This is where it counts. <laughs> the nerve wracking time. Okay, he was right, you know. Head up. Step back, leg. Step back. Underneath the boat. Gotta do the game, bro. There we go. Okay, reverse more, more, tight, tight, right? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm pulling my board. Okay. Right, guys. What uh, Marcus is doing? Keep his head on the water. He's got the he's got the uh, cloth around his bull, so he doesn't mess up his hand. The so rush is going. Uh, keep the boat in gear, so the water's flowing through his gills. We're gonna cut the hook off. We're gonna bring him on. One quick pick, and then we're gonna chuck him, chuck him out. <laughs> I'm 30 pound, happy. <laughs> okay. Alright, put him in gear. Okay, guys, we revived it for a good five minutes. His tail's kicking and stuff. We're gonna let him go. 
Uh, taking that off the front. There we go. There he goes. Hey, Adrian, I'm too stoked, man. Shot. Shot the hole. Thank you very much. 30 pound. The rush. Thanks for the skippery, buddy. Well done. Hey, that's on 30 pound tackle. We're on our way to go catch Amberjacks. Face was green, hating life. <laughs> and then we saw that, and uh, I didn't even know what chance I had, but I just threw it with 30 pound. That was, uh, that's a special fish. Uh, that's, that's to the heart. That goes to memories. Well done, Shot, boy. Thank you. Well, let's, uh, let's carry on. Let's hang on. I really didn't think I'd ever do this in my life, but we're literally driving around looking for Marlin. <laughs> we, uh, in the 20 minutes of driving, we've seen three Marlin. Two were together, one that I caught, the other one uh, we didn't hook. And the other one now we uh, saw, didn't get a chance to pitch it properly. Um, but we're just cruising around now. If you're going to be doing stuff like this, you want to be wearing proper eyewear. Um, these Maco Escapes, it's got HD definition uh, lenses on them. This, you can fish all day with stuff like this. Like this, you're squinching your eyes, the glare cut you, too much glare, and you can't spot properly. Here, we're li looking for a li little, tiny little fin or a bull sticking out the water. You can't be uh, trying to do this with, with no eyewear. A lot of, I, I see a lot of guys on the boats, I don't wear sunglasses, and it's, for one, not good for your eyes. And for two, it's just it's just such a handicap. Bring a roll of toilet paper on the on board and clean them every hour if you have to. Yeah. All right, let's see what this is. All right, we're just uh, in these horrendous conditions. We just uh, put some because uh, of the, the marlin we've seen around the surface and got put off by the one pitch bait we had in the marlin. Uh, we just put some cuda st sticks out, and uh, Marcus is winding in what seems to be quite a juvenile, but let's have a look and see. Hello. Just waking up, whatever it is. <laughs> right, I'm using an SL30. Probably one of the smoothest drags we can get, just hold on. Just getting a to get the SL50, sorry. 12 and a half kilo uh, Kingfisher line. So, yeah, using a lobster gas guide, we had some incredible action today with Marlin. And it uh, looks like I got a little cuda. This is a bread and butter uh, fish for, 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 um, for Lagoga. Unfortunately, because the time of year we're here, there hasn't been too many coots around. There you go, we've got a little cooter, a little rat cooter, as we call it. Um, basically, there's plenty here. This is, the, uh, this is where they grow big and they run down to Durban. So we're going to let this guy go and hopefully I'll catch him when he's 25 kilos, maybe even 30 one day. Alright, so cool man, well done, buddy. little cuter, hopefully I'll catch him one day when he's big. Well guys, that's, uh, that's us for today. The weather is horrendous, like I've said many a time before. Bobbing and swaying all over the place. Uh, we're going to head back to the Gogo, have a chat with the, with the Minettis, and uh, yeah, we'll stay tuned for a, a bit more action from the Gogo next week. Cheers guys. Alright, with it being so rough, uh, you guys saw the conditions, it's not really easy to talk to the camera. I just want to explain the outfit that I caught that model on and why it was such a big deal. The Dower Salt is 8 foot 6. Uh, spinning rod, two-piece two rod, and I got the Dawa Caldea 4000 with 33 pound braid. An outfit like this is actually made for catching snook in the towel. Small bonita, not even medium-sized tuna rod. So this, to catch a marlin like this, this is an achievement of a lifetime. Um, as a testament to the, to the outfit as well. I had another thing which was quite interesting is that I had it rigged up for catching bluefin, sort of like three to five kilo fish. Um, that just gives you an indication of, of what size fish we were catching with. And I mustered uh, to a big one. Uh, that's it there. Basically, that's the hook I caught that marlin on. And for me, this is uh, that, this is a lifetime achievement. It's a very, very special fish on this outfit. I mean, I've caught marlin before. It's just my second marlin. It's not as if I'm a marlin specialist today, but it's just we, we saw it there. We pitched a live uh, cigar scad to it, and I was lucky enough to go on. And yeah, for me, that's, that's, a, that's a fish of a lifetime. And this tackle made a fish of a lifetime. <laughs>